Here we go then, it's the championship playoff final. Let's talk about it. Back to another video on the channel. What we're going to be doing today is predicting the outcome of both the Championship Playoff Final and the League One Playoff Final. So do get your score predictions down below. If you saw on the community tab the other day, I put out some polls for you guys to vote on, which we'll be talking about today um, in terms of who you guys are fancying for promotion at Wembley. But it should be a fantastic weekend nonetheless. Like I say, do get your score predictions down below. If we get it 300 likes on today's video as well, that would be massively appreciated. Do stick around and subscribe for a bit of regular Champions content. What we'll do is we'll first of all predict the League One playoff final and then we'll head into the Championship playoff final. Let's go. And so let's start out with the League One playoff final. We've got Blackpool going up against Lincoln playing for a place in the Championship next season and I think that this game set up to be really quite a good and open game of football given how both semi-finals went for each side. I don't think that this is going to be an occasion where either team's holding back for this one. I think they'll both want to be going all guns blazing and from you know a neutrals perspective that should make this one a really interesting game of football Lincoln obviously what a story that would be if they do make it into the championship we've got a bit of a soft spot for Michael Appleton with myself being a North Ender and all that but yeah it would be some story wouldn't it and what a season it's been for them so far Blackpool very much came into the playoffs this season as the form team in League 1 they've only lost 2 of their last 21 league matches which was absolutely staggering you know the work that Critchley's done there has obviously been fantastic and the turnaround that they've seen since the start of this season in. The other day I put a poll out on the community tab asking you guys who you think is going to win the League One playoff final and 64% of you have gone for Blackpool. The other 36% went with Lincoln. So Blackpool are the favourites coming into this game. I think that's reflected there to be honest with you. You know, they're the team that's finished third and the way that they were able to dispatch Oxford in the end, you know, in two thrilling games, you know, 3-0 in the first leg, a 3-3 thriller in the second leg. What was probably most impressive about that second leg from a Blackpool's perspective as well was probably the mentality because Oxford definitely had moments in that second leg especially when they were piling on the pressure going forward they had chances in the round the box and when they eventually did get those goals the Blackpool players never really dropped their heads or anything like that it was very much a mentality of okay we go again and they instantly had that reaction to get their goal um, and get back into the game and things like that I think that their forward two would cause problems for quite a few defenders in the championship to be honest with you as well as the league one defenders who they've terrorised this season uh, Jerry Yates is a really uh, interesting player actually who I think that if Blackpool aren't successful in this game there's going to be a lot of championship interest in that play we've already seen links to the likes of Nottingham Forest already. Blackpool's record on the whole against top six opposition has been very strong this season however Lincoln have been one of their bogey sides so far this season because they failed to beat them on two occasions they've had a loss and a draw against them in both those matches they took the lead but Lincoln managed to squeeze their way back into the game which does show something about Lincoln's mentality in this sort of fixture as well so yeah I think this one's up to be a really interesting game of football if I had to call it right now I think that Blackpool maybe have a bit more about them at this point in time. I think they're a bit more of the complete side, although I'd love Lincoln and, you know, that would be a great story and things like that. For a score prediction, I'm going to go for quite an open game and for Blackpool to just edge this one by two goals to one. FIFA is also going to agree with me, but I want to get your guys' thoughts on that one in the comments down below. Next up then, though, to the big one, it is the Championship Playoff Final. So interested to see what the outcome of this game is now. I also put a poll out on the community tab asking you guys who you think is going to be successful at Wembley this weekend and a massive 71% of you have voted for Brentford in this game the other 29% of you have gone for Swansea so I think it's fair to say that Brentford coming into this one are by far and away the favourites which could play for or against them we obviously already know about Brentford's sort of hoodoo and their unsuccessful previous campaigns in the playoffs if they were to lose this game actually they go down as the most unsuccessful team in playoff history I think that Preston and Brentford are joint with the record at the moment with nine unsuccessful playoffs attempts but if Brentford lose this one they'll overtake our record which I'm quite happy about to be honest with you it's not a nice record to have um, but yeah Brentford really do need to get that sort of monkey off their back you know two successive third seasons in the championship they had this opportunity last year they've got themselves into the same position again 
and they really need to seize it this time round. But Swansea will be a really tricky side to come up against. Um, we've already seen Swansea have been a side so far this season who do have the capabilities. I thought they did this really well in the second leg against Barnsley, by the way, of taking the sting out of matches. You know, if we compare sort of Brentford to Swansea on both sort of like footballing levels and stuff like that, you know, I don't think anyone's deluded by the fact that Brentford are a wonderful footballing team who, if they turn up on the day, they're capable of playing anyone off the park like we've seen in the championship this season. Season. However, the off days that Brentford have, especially in these crunch matches, Swansea are that sort of team who can capitalise on it. And when I put that poll out on the community tab, um, I've been reading through a few of your comments and things like that. And the, the amount of people that could see maybe if Brentford don't show up and Swansea do, they can snatch a goal and just see out a game like that. That could happen here. That could very well happen. You know, if Andre Ayew grabs a goal for Swansea, he is a player who more so than probably anyone in the championship loves a big moment. It's going to be such an interesting game for that sort of thing. It's all dependent, I feel like, if Brentford show up for this game. Because no disrespect to Swansea whatsoever, you know, they've earned their way to um, the playoff final this time round and they themselves like Brentford were also involved in the playoffs last, last season. Funnily enough these two obviously came up against each other in the semi-finals last season so it's interesting to see that one of the unsuccessful teams from last season will be promoted this time round. Obviously Brentford got the better of that time made their way to Wembley but weren't then successful against Fulham. I think that each side will have learnt quite a bit from their previous playoff campaigns. Obviously, it's still the same managers there now. If Steve Cooper does manage to get this Swansea squad promoted as well, for all the sort of stuff he's had to work with while he's been there, that will be an immensely impressive achievement. You know, I know that Swansea don't always, under Steve Cooper, play the most eye-catching football, um, and that can sometimes have its critics, and I understand that sort of thing, but in terms of what he's got out of this Swansea squad this season, in terms of like the investment that's gone into that team over the last couple of years, which compared to some of the other you know, parachute teams coming down from the Premier League and stuff like that, it's at different levels really compared to what Swansea have put back into the squad and the players they've had to sell and things like that. But the amount of points they've achieved for that level of investment is seriously impressive on Steve Cooper's part. Obviously Brentford are the team who are you know superior above all others really for sort of selling players at an inflated price and putting that money back into the team and they've done that once again this season with Ivan Tony. but uh, I, I'm really stuck on this final prediction to be honest with you because if you've been watching the channel for a few years now you'll already know that I'm absolutely useless with predicting playoff finals. I think of all the ones I've predicted so far I've only got one of them right and that was when Villa were last promoted. Apart from that I've called all the other ones wrongly so last year I did back Brentford to beat Fulham. In the end Fulham was successful. In each of the league games that these two sides have had up against each other so far this season they've both finished as 1-1 one, one draws and you know what in 90 minutes I also think that it's heading towards a similar sort of occurrence to be honest with you. Uh, I've got this feeling in the back of my mind that like we mentioned before if Brentford don't show up a 1-0 Swansea you know goal scored on the counter attack or something like that wouldn't surprise me at all but in normal time I'm going to say that these two are going to cancel each other out and it's going to finish as a 1-1 draw. These championship playoff finals especially are so nervy because it, it, there's such huge stakes on the line. I just don't think there'll be all too much in it between these two in normal time. Obviously the problem that Swansea have coming into this game is the injury to win Rantledge, so they will need to shuffle around their team slightly, whether that means Roberts coming in and playing slightly more advanced um, than a fullback, you know, either as a wingback or in playing actually on that right-hand side of midfield, and then you push someone like um, IU into the middle maybe, or do you keep IU out on that side and put Cullen up front or something like that? I don't know, that's the sort of choice that Cooper has to come into this game. Brentford also have their injury doubts coming into this game. Christian Norgod, as of recording, is still to be assessed whether he will be fit enough to play this game obviously without no goal that's quite the blow for Brentford you have to say I think he settled into that back line really well and obviously one potential avenue where Brentford could be caught out is they could be susceptible to counter-attacks on the break you know we all saw that crazy goal they conceded um to Brentford in to Bournemouth sorry in the second leg when Dan Juma raced their own goal after that corner when they threw over on forward Swansea have those players who can play on the break so if someone like a Norgo isn't there to brush up on those um those things at the back that could be an avenue where Swansea exploit them. It looks also like Rico Henry will be missing for the playoff final, which is another blow for Brentford. Having said that, yeah, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one in normal time. So I do back this one to go into extra time. And in extra time... I'm going to back Brentford again, I think. Um, I'm going to say 2-1 Brentford. 
after extra time. That's what I'm feeling at this current point in time, but it's on such a knife edge here. I know that um, when I put the pull out, it was a, slans a landslide in Brentford's favour, but I really think this one's going to go down to the wire. I really think it's going to be quite close between these two sides. With, with the way that each of them play football and things like that, it's quite a nice matchup for the playoff final because it's going to be such fine margins in this game, I feel like. But there we have it, guys. That is my final prediction. I'm saying 2-1 Brentford in this game. FIFA has gone 2-0 Swansea. I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. But there we have it, guys. That will wrap it up for today's video. Very interested to see what you guys are saying for both the League One and Championship playoff finals. It should be a fantastic weekend of football. All the best as well to everyone that has managed to get a ticket for Wembley. Sure, that should be an absolutely unreal experience getting back in there but as always if you did go in to enjoy make sure to leave like and do subscribe for a bit of regular championship content apart from that thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next one